Well, hey there. I'm just in the middle of making some healthy homemade ice cream right now. Um, currently, I am uh, working out of a can of organic pumpkin to make some pumpkin spice ice cream tonight. So, I'm going to use half of a frozen banana, half a can of pumpkin, half a can of garbanzo beans, or chickpeas, whichever you prefer to describe them as. But essentially, they're the same thing. Um, and then I'm going to use a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ginger, half a teaspoon of allspice, two whole cloves, and a teaspoon of cocoa. And you can add in some nutmeg in there as well. I think that'd be a good addition. So how about a half a teaspoon of nutmeg? Um, you could also do sweet potatoes instead of pumpkin, or you could do a blend of sweet potatoes and pumpkin. This is a healthy alternative to the ice cream experience that everybody loves to have. A late night snack, um, having something cold and delicious and scrumptious um, to have as a late night snack. That's cold. And I love helping people have the experience of ice cream in a healthier way. So we can have our ice cream and eat it too. Not our cake and eat it too, but our ice cream and eat it too. So I'm going to add uh, three ice cubes to this and some almond milk as well so I have a cup right now with half a can of pumpkin, half a can of garbanzo beans and the nutmeg, ginger, allspice, clove, cinnamon and cocoa in it and then I will blend this up um, it has the garbanzo beans, the pumpkin and the frozen banana and, the, and all those spices and I'm gonna blend this up with some almond milk and it will be our healthy ice cream and so I'm excited to show you what it looks like and just like TV magic I'm gonna blend this up, but I do have a prepared batch already to show you, so one second. So whenever it gets done, you can pour it out of the quote unquote jar or cup and let it be poured into a bowl or your favorite dessert dish. And that favorite dessert dish then can be placed in the freezer or left in the freezer for you to pour it into. That way it stays cold. Or you can place it back in the freezer whenever it becomes this mousse mess. And then you let it freeze. And then you eat it later as ice cream. So, like many things in life, it takes a little bit of hard work, a little bit of extra time, and a little bit of attention to actually get the things that we want. But by golly, you can have your ice cream. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be healthy. You're going to have protein. You're going to have vitamin A. You're going to feel great. You're not going to feel bloated. You're not going to feel like that sugar rush that we get whenever we have ice cream. Also, you might actually feel a little bit more full than a standard bowl of ice cream. Because I'll tell you what, whenever we have ice cream, you place sugar and fat together, and dairy is that middle ground. We have sugar and fat. And boy, I don't know anybody that's ever told me that they get full after eating ice cream. Usually I hear, yeah, I still hear it a lot of times. Man, ice cream is just my guilty pleasure. If there's just anything that I wish I could overcome as an addiction or my guilty pleasure, my sweet indulgence, it would be ice cream because I just can't, I just can't help it. I just can't stop myself. Um, a lot of people tell me that they don't like their relationship to ice cream. But guess what? In a healthier way like this, you can have a healthy relationship back to ice cream. Bring ice cream back into your life. And we can call it nice cream. Nice cream. Isn't that such a nice thing that we can do to bring ice cream back into our life? So the nice cream is using a frozen banana. So that's just one way that you can do this. I have a plethora of other recipes that we can try. Um, many options and variables to piece and parcel together whenever it comes down to having a healthier alternative to something that we're all familiar with. That's what I really care about as a culinary nutrition kind of person. So that's just an example that I wanted to give you here today. And look forward to other videos coming forward because, by golly, if we can have ice cream every day and enjoy it and it's a healthy option, well, why not? I love it.